Hello class. So now we're going to talk about gauging and swatching our needles and our yarn before we start a project. So um, the idea is we're going to knit a length of fabric in the stitch um, or if it's multiple stitches in the multiple stitches that our project is going to be stitched in. So we want to know how many stitches it will take to make the appropriately sized object. Um, so this is important particularly in garments if you're trying to fit a hat around a head or a sweater around a body. You need to know how many stitches to cast on so that it will actually fit the person. So both of these swatches are made with the same yarn but different needle sizes and they are both 20 stitches across and 20 rows up and down. But you can see they're pretty significantly varied in size. Um, so now I know, having made these swatches, how many stitches are in that 20 stitch block. Now my next step to get a more accurate measurement to get a more accurate measurement is I can actually measure, oh, wrong side of the measuring tape. I can take my measuring tape and I can say, okay, in a four inch span, so we're gonna kind of do a cube. We're gonna say four inches by four inches. How many stitches are within that? Okay, so one, let's see. One, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so 15. And then I do the same thing for the number of rows. I count the number of rows. Or you can do a 2 by 2 square. Um, and this will help you to calculate. If my waist is so many inches, and now I know that there are, on average, so many inches or so many stitches per inch, now I can calculate how many stitches I need to create that measurement around the waist, around the head, whatever kind of garment we're making. I also do recommend that you cast off and block these pieces of fabric um, because you will eventually be casting off and blocking your garment or your item. And um, if particularly if it's a fitted item, something that you kind of want to fit snug, um, you want to take it through the whole process and see how the yarn will react to water and to being blocked. Um, some yarns do get significantly more elasticity to them um, when they are uh, treated with water. Um, Particularly wools can react very differently. Sometimes it affects the twist of the yarn if something is a little bit more of a loose twist or a hand spun twist. Um, that yarn can relax significantly when it's submerged in water. Um, so this is where we kind of start to troubleshoot before we even jump into making something. And if you're going to spend a significant time on a project, it is definitely worth your time to swatch, experiment, um, see what size needle you want to use, if you've got, in fact, the right yarn for your project, if there's color waves within the yarn, if you're liking how the color waves are appearing. Um, so. I definitely you know, recommend this. It's great for garments in particular.